add vectors head to tail. Now we have two vectors. One is the 13 at 25 degrees to the horizontal and the other is 17 at 40 degrees to the vertical. The first thing to do is to put the head of one vector at the tail of the other. So if we put this one going up and this one coming back down again, this is A is 13, this is B is 40, then our resultant goes from where we started to where we ended up. This is R. You need to find that angle if you can. So if 13, if A is 13 degrees to the horizontal, then for example, this angle in here is 25 degrees. And B is 40 degrees to the vertical, so this angle is 40. Oh, I said it wrong. B is 17. This angle in between here, call it beta. Beta is going to be 90 minus 25 minus 40, which is 25 degrees. So this angle in between is 25 degrees. Here's our triangle. 13, 17, and an angle of 25 degrees. This is what we want to find. That's the length of our resultant. Use the law of cosines to find that. Law of cosines says that in any triangle, C, the length of the one side, is the square root of A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of the angle between them, which in this case is beta. So what we have here is that the length of our resultant R, this is what we're looking for, is 13 squared plus 17 squared minus 2 times 13 times 17 times the cosine of 25. If you plug that into your calculator, this is 7.57707. That's the length of this piece of the triangle. Now, once you've done that, use the law of sines to find the direction of R. So, for example, in our triangle, I'm going to draw it again. This is 13, this is 17, and now this is 7.57707. This was our 25 degree angle from before. In any triangle, right or otherwise, the sine of each angle over its opposite side, so if this is alpha, then the sine of alpha over its opposite side, 17, is equal to the sine of beta, or 25, over its opposite side, which is R. So we can say that this was sine of 25 over 7.57707. You can solve that for alpha. Alpha, or sine alpha rather, is 17 times sine 25 over 7.57707. That gives you 46.476. That gives you 71.476 degrees. That's not actually the angle that we want. This is alpha. If you plug it into your calculator wrong, you get the wrong answer. If you plug it in, this is our, this entire angle alpha here. Alpha, we can't give our answer R in terms of that angle because that angle is measured from something else. We can say, if this whole thing is alpha, this was 25 degrees. That was what we were given between the 13 and the 13 pound load and the horizontal was 25. If the whole thing is 71, then this angle in here must be 46.476. So now we can answer the question. R is 7.58 pounds or whatever units you have at 46.5 degrees below the horizontal.